Hey guys, it's me coming back with another video. Uh, I, in this video, I want to kind of talk about, um, money strategy. Or, or how I'm gonna hopefully kind of manage my money starting next week. Today is Friday. I don't get paid today. I get I get paid next week. As some of you guys may know, if you don't, I mean, if you guys don't know, I actually have a job and or I got a new job, but they only pay by weekly. So I'm not getting paid weekly as I usually do. So Getting paid bi-weekly is really, it's really hard on me just because, at first, I haven't gotten paid bi-weekly since I was, like, 15, 16 years old. <laughs> I have I, basically 15, like, I was getting paid bi-weekly when I was, like, 15, and then turning into 16 a little bit and then I switched over to getting paid by weekly and that hasn't stopped until right now <laughs> so in those times starting out I was doing so good at saving my money especially for my car insurance and maintenance and everything that stopped because first I thought I thought that I could, I would be able to control myself and not spend it. I actually can't, I don't know what happened, but somehow I was wrong about that too. So basically right now I have, I basically have no money right now. I'm completely broke. Uh, I'm still in the hole with the bank because of my credit card and I still have to pay my dad off and stuff. So what I'm thinking, I have either two, I'm, I'm thinking I have like two options right now. So I have to, I have to, I have to know by this, by basically my next pay, by next Friday, if I'm wanting to do what I'm going to be doing. So option one Option one is basically, <laughs> option one is trying to, uh, is basically kind of like, I don't know how to do it. I guess there's like three options, I guess, to this. Um... Oh my god, I don't know how to describe it. Like, option one is that I can pay my dad kind of almost like half of my pay. I don't know how much I'm getting paid this week because last week, last week was surprising. I, 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 <laughs> I was not expecting the paycheck that I got last week, what, which I was happy about my paycheck amount. I'm hoping that will be this coming week, but I highly doubt it. So, either I pay him a certain amount, and then I pay a certain amount onto my credit card, and then and then take a certain amount of money out for gas, and then, or just keep a certain, uh, or t take a certain amount of money out for gas, and keep the rest in my in my, uh, in my, uh, the rest of the money, my money into my, uh, into my account for, like, my subscriptions, and just, like, just keep it in there for, I don't, I don't want to say savings, but anyways, that's option one. The second option is I go back to doing the 50, 30, 20 budget, which fifth, okay. So what that is, is basically it's, it's your wants, needs, and 
savings. So 50% of your income goes to need, needs, which is your like, like bills, like, so, um, like rent or utilities and gas and stuff like that. The set, and then 30% of your income goes to your wants, which is like your subscriptions, like going out to eat or like buying clothes and stuff like that. And then 20% of your income goes into savings, which you don't touch, which is my problem right now. Because, yeah. So that's my second option. My third option is I just take 10%. 10 20 percent out of my of my income out into a savings jar and then keep the rest for basically like paying my dad off or paying the credit card or and everything and just and then just keep all that money in there for whatever i need my <laughs> Right now, thinking about it, it's in between the 50, 30, 20 rule or taking a percent of my income out and just keeping the rest for, you know, whatever. Because everyone says that you should always pay yourself first before anything. Because it, I can, I can see that just because what, I've always paid my dad and my credit card before I pay myself. So it is a very, very difficult and very stressful a little bit just because if you if you're me and or if you're somebody who cannot stop spending like for any reason, um obviously we have a problem and that becomes a problem because or i don't know how to oh my goodness every time i like try to get something out i my mind just goes blank sometimes and then i don't and then i forget what i'm saying but anyways um p I don't, people say, like I said, you, you should always pay yourself first because, yeah. Um, and I've I have not been doing that. And the people say you should always be paying yourself first. Just, I I don't know. I don't know the reason. There's a reason, but I can't think of it. But, um, it's basically keeping your y yourself happy and everything and that you're you're i wouldn't say you're rewarding yourself but you're giving yourself the money to save and then the rest can go straight to bills and everything and so i feel like that is what i'm you know what we're gonna try i'm gonna try these different strategies for a month so so I'm gonna try all three options and not in a month, but so one month could be the 50, 30, 20 rule budget. And then the next month could be me putting, me paying myself first and then paying everybody, or I can just, do what I've been doing and then next month is basically what I'm doing right now is basically paying everyone first and then paying myself which actually that sounds like so terrible <laughs> that often sounds so freaking terrible because I've actually been doing that so it, it sucks so I think what I'm gonna do is starting next Starting next week, I am, there's a f four weeks out of the month. Okay, so starting next week, I'm going to start, I'm going to do the 50, 30, 20 rule budget 
for the for the next two weeks. Um, for my first and my first paycheck and my second paycheck, I'm gonna start that. Um, or maybe should I do it for four weeks? Okay, so okay, so what I'm thinking of doing is just um. I can't freak. Okay, for four weeks. Okay, I'm gonna, um. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on my fourth paycheck, I'm gonna. So from my first paycheck to my fourth paycheck, I'm gonna do the 50, 30, 20 budget system. And then. If I don't think it's worth, and then after that, I'm gonna do another four weeks of of paying myself first, and then everyone else, and then after that fourth week of the second, I'm going to make a decision on if either of these, either of these um systems work. But I feel like I'm gonna kind of need backup on this one just because <laughs> so i think i know my dad's probably gonna probably gonna help me on this because i'm already giving him money for like the bills and stuff um so i think what i'm gonna do is um with the savings area okay so for the so for the 50 30 20 budget i think i'm gonna i'm gonna have I'm going to be putting these in envelopes because I have envelopes at home. So I think I'm going to give give him the needs and the needs and the savings envelopes. I'm going to give them to my dad because the needs and the savings are like kind of the same thing but not really because the needs is basically Oh shoot. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think starting next week, I think I'm going to start paying myself first and then doing my bills because now think now really thinking about it, I don't think the 50, 20 and 30 the 50, 30 and 20 budget I don't think it's going to help me just because of how my credit card is right now. I think it would be completely different if I didn't have the credit card, if I didn't have my credit card. So, yeah. <laughs> and guys, what I'm thinking. Okay, so when I was in high school, my senior year, which was last year, I had this teacher and and one of the lessons, I don't know why, th this was a, this was a science class. For some reason, we were talking about, like, budgeting your money and stuff. But, apparently, he does not have a credit card. But, I mean, obviously, like, some stuff takes, like, has credit. Like, you need to have credit. But, apparently, you don't need, like, you don't need a credit card sometimes. Because, if you don't have a credit card... You can basically tell people that you can pay stuff on your own without any help. Because basically, credit cards are kind of like a help thing. Like, or like a help situation. Um, or I can, like, and everything. So, I'm either going to cancel my credit card and not you and not do credit anymore or i'm only just going to use my credit card for emergencies which basically credit cards should be made for is emergencies so i'm probably going to do that but yeah anyways so starting next week i'm going to start paying myself first and then and then um the rest of the money can go to bills and stuff so anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm hoping i'll upload but if not i probably just wasted my whole breath but 
I'm, I might make a second video on my computer just just so I know it's uploaded and, ev and everything. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I will definitely I will definitely be giving you guys updates on th my budgeting and everything. And so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.